Carla and it, welcome to Lesson 4 of Kids Art Week. Today we're going to do some cats in the Cubist style. It's called Picasso Cats. Really this style of painting was invented by Pablo Picasso and Georges Brox, who was a friend of his way back about a hundred years ago. Um, but what it is, is they don't paint the thing as it looks in real life, but they paint it as if it's coming from several directions in one picture. So for example, this is a violin, and they, and Picasso painted part of it from the front and part of it from the side, and the idea is that you get sort of um, the idea of a violin rather than a violin. And that's what we're gonna do today, is we're going to draw or paint a picture of a cat that's the idea of a cat, even though it might not be a cat. Um, or a cat like you would draw it if you weren't doing it this way. So what you need today are some watercolors, uh, three colors of markers, and that can be any colors you want. Um, and some paint brushes. I have a round brush that's kind of will hold a lot of water and then a smaller brush that's for detail. And then you'll need a piece of watercolor paper and this is about letter sized, something like that. Uh, so this is how you do it. You take one of your colored markers and it's kind of like uh, yesterday's uh, recipe where we had the five horses ladder and, and merry-go-round. This is a recipe where you, you add something and then you get you add something else and you add something else and you add something else. So there's a list of things to, to draw. First thing you do is draw an eye anywhere on the paper. So I'm gonna draw an eye. And then you're gonna turn your paper um, 90 degrees clockwise, get another color and draw a second eye three times bigger than the first eye that you drew. And again, it can go anywhere on the paper. So I'm gonna maybe do kind of a roundish eye this time. There's my second eye. Turn your paper 90 degrees clockwise and draw an ear anywhere on the paper. Cats have kind of pointy ears, don't they? And I keep changing my colors just because I want it to, I just want to have pretty colors at the end, so this is why I'm doing this. The next one is a tail. So a tail anywhere on the page. And you can connect it with something you already have, or you can just have it floating wherever you want. It could even come off the, the side of the paper if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> Turning my paper again, and now I'm gonna draw like a nose and a mouth or it could be just a mouth, but I'm just gonna draw maybe a little nose and mouth. Changing my color again. What do cats have? Whiskers. So I'm gonna draw some whiskers. And then finally, the last one is a paw. And um, where should I put the paw? Where should I put the paw? I'm just gonna make my paw right here. Okay. So this is kind of silly. It does not look like a cat at all. But in the next step, we're gonna make it into a cat. Um, but first we're gonna get our watercolors ready. Um, this is a set of watercolors, and the first thing I usually do whenever I have watercolors is I'll take my brush and just put a little bit of water in every pot. And that way, while I'm looking at my drawing and trying to decide how I wanna paint it, the water is making the watercolor um, softer, so it'll be easier to, to work with. And I go ahead and, I don't even know what colors I'm gonna use, so I just go ahead and add water to all of them. Okay, so while that's softening up, I'm gonna look at my cat here, my cat parts, and turn my paper, like we did our blob animals, and turn my paper and see if there's an orientation or a direction that, that says cat to me the most. So I kind of like this one, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, that one's kind of silly too. That one doesn't do much for me. <laughs> and that one doesn't either. Um, this one looks good, or that one. I think I'm gonna go with this direction. Okay, um, and so what I'm gonna do now is take my watercolor, my wet watercolor, and, and mix up a color that I think would look, would look nice. And so I have um, some uh, water. I, wanna, I want a lot of color here. Um, so I'm mixing up a lot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint my cat now around these elements. So for example, 
I'm thinking this is his eye and that's another eye. And so I'm going to have to add in, I think, um, his ears. And his whiskers just then kind of um, became part of his ear. You notice that the, um, the marker is smearing, and that is a good thing. That's uh, what I wanted anyway. Um, I'm going around my eye, although I don't have to. I can leave the tail as it is. Maybe I will. I'll skip the tail and come over here. I'm almost done. I think I'm going to add some stripes on the tail. Pretend my kitty has some stripes. And then if I want, I can take my small brush and um, I have a little black here. And there I can add some details if I want. Um, maybe, maybe some toes, like, like our rabbits had toes, remember? Uh, maybe the, the cat's eyes need to be a little darker. And maybe he needs some whiskers. Um, I think I'm going to add some whiskers. And this guy, he's kind of silly looking, isn't he? He's kind of strange. And I want to encourage you, don't be frustrated if your cat doesn't look like a real cat. We're not trying to do a real cat. We want our cats to be kind of silly. So the point is, if you looked at this, or if somebody, your mom or your dad, or somebody looked at this, they could probably guess that it was a cat, even though it wasn't made to look exactly like a real cat. And that's what we want. We want the essence of cat. We want a cat-like photo or a cat-like picture that isn't really a real cat. Um, here's an example of a couple more that um, I did using the same set of steps. Um, although I think in this one, oh yeah, I did. My, my big eye was here. So sometimes your elements will become other elements. Um, here's one where the cat looks like he's waving a little bit. I like that one. So that one's just the head. That's good too. And here's one that's kind of like almost like a catfish. Um, I can't wait to see your Picasso cats. Remember, it's not supposed to look real. It's supposed to be weird and crazy. And I just can't wait to see how weird and crazy your Picasso cats are.